Hello there. Welcome to my bench again. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the last fly in the little trout series, bucktail streamers. This guy is the little rainbow trout. So I figured I'd give this the last one a tie for you. So we'll get this guy of the vice a hook in and get started here. And for the hook, once again, we're using a seven seven nine eight five zero Mustad streamer size six. I'll get him locked in here. Okay, there we go. And our thread is UTC 70 black once again. And we'll start our thread I'll call it length behind the eye here. And we're gonna wrap 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 back towards the uh, barb here. Just keep wrapping back. Keep your wraps fairly close together. And I'm gonna snip off the tag end here. Okay work our way back to above the barb. Now, the tail on this guy is a little bit of just a little bit of green bucktail for this guy for the tail. So I have a small amount selected out here and we'll tie him in about hook gap length. Right on top of the shank like so here. Right back to above the barb or so. Right about there is fine. Now, I'm going to trim that to about our body length here, right there. And I'm going to wrap that all the way up. I'm not going to uh, trim that any shorter. I'm going to come up and then I'm going to come back around here. I'm going to tie that all down good and tight. Snug it down. It doesn't have to be on the top or bottom because this, this fly is going to have dubbing for the body. So next, I want to tie in our rib. Turn my fly upside this way, upside down. I'm going to take a piece of mylar, gold and silver. I want the silver to be showing when our rib comes around. So I'm going to put the gold side down on the bottom here. Tie that down. Get that to start it. I want that to stay on top here. There we go. Wrap back towards the tail. Just like so here. There we go. Flip my vise back around. A couple more wraps to go there. There we go. Now secure that down really good with snug wraps. Go up. Back down. Okay, right there is fine. Now we're ready to start our dubbing body. And the dubbing this time is a mixture of pink and the creamy white because you want like a, a pale pink color. So once you mix those two together, unless you have pale pink already, it, you want like a light pink color. So we'll start to just dub this body up here. Put some tacky wax on the thread. And we'll get started here. Okay. Start forming our noodle for the body. Okay. Of course, you know we're going to have to add more, but we'll get her started here. Get that on there, and we'll dub this on. See where it brings us here. Okay, you want to wrap back first. I want that first wrap to be directly in front of the tail, just like so. There we go. Then we're going to start wrapping up, just like so here. Okay, a little more wax on our thread. Dub some more on. Just like so here. Keep working our way up. Okay. Okay, this section should put us pretty close here. I'm going to wrap that up. Keep moving forward. Okay, one more section. We'll finish the body up. Put more wax on the thread. Dub that on. Okay. And that should pretty much do it for us, I'd say. So we'll wrap this on. See if it puts it where we want. Put the right where we want. It. We want it to be here. 
Actually, there we go. That's fine right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim some of these guard hairs away. Let's trim some of those out if you get them sticking out there. Okay, that's fine. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to throw in a half hitch here. Just like so. I'm going to bring my bobbin cradle over. Rest my thread on there because I'm going to rib the fly up now. Now we want our silver side showing, so we'll come up around like so. Take the first wrap by hand, then I'm going to rib it up even. Spaced wraps between each other. Just like so till you get to the tie off, which is right there. Okay, I'm going to move that bobbin cradle out of the way here. Grab my thread. I'm going to come up around that tinsel. Two to three wraps, and I'm going to wrap it back, lock it in. Lock it in just like so. Come in and snip off the excess. And there's our rib. Finished up. Just want to come in and clean that up here. There we go. That looks fine. Okay, our next step is our throat, so I'm going to turn them back upside down again. And for the throat, this time, it's a, some pink bucktail. Just a small amount. I want to keep it the throat fairly short. So we're going to come in, tie that in here. Or you know, I'm going to use a pinch loop here. Come down, pinch that down. Wrap forward, like so. Looks fine. Snug down. Then we're going to trim that off. Just like so. Secure that down with more wraps. Nice and snug here. There we go. There's our throat. Fly back up around. A few more guard hairs there I want to snip out there. From that dubbing. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to start our wing. And the first layer is a sparse amount of white this time. So we're going to bring that in. We're going to tie that right on top. You can just a hair past the tail. I don't go much farther back than that. And then we're going to come up with a pinch loop. Tie that down. Like so. Make a couple wraps. There we go. Just want to make sure that's right on top. Then we can wrap back with some soft loops here. Just like so. There we go. Now we're going to come in and snip that off on an angle. Just like so. Come in with my super glue here. A little shot on the thread wraps, just like so. There we go. And I'm going to bind that in good. Come back up, and we're ready for our second layer. Next layer is a small amount of pink. I've got that ready here. Nice and sparse, of course. Okay, we're going to bring that in. We're going to place that right on top of our white here. Just like so. Same deal. Come up. Pinch around. Two wraps like so. Lift up on it. Back down. Forward. And come back with some soft wraps. Just like so. And there's our pink. And then we're going to trim that off on an angle. There we go. Okay, a little bit of super glue once again. Okay, just like so, just a little smidgen. There we go. Okay, we're going to bind those down. Go right to the eye of the hook there. Come back, we're ready for our next layer, which is green. Same amount of green bucktail once again. Okay. Like I was saying before, the key is to keep your your bunches nice and sparse here. Okay, right on top. Come in with a pinch loop down. A couple wraps. Just to hold it there for now. Then we're gonna lift up on that. Back down. Snug it down. Then come back with some soft loops once again. 
just like so then forward again there's our green I'm gonna snip that off on an angle just like so a little bit of super glue once again a little dab there we go okay now we're gonna bind that down good as well do it to the eye then back up there we go now we're ready for our last layer which is gray squirrel a sparse amount of gray squirrel on the top I have that ready here okay bring that in even with the rest right on top come down with a soft loop pinch it and another loop like so bring it up and down make sure it stays right on top and we're going to come back with some soft loops here then forward once again snuck that down there we go and I'm going to snip that off on an angle too just like so there we go just checking make sure everything looks good here everything's on top looks great okay one more little dab of super glue on those butt ends there okay now we're ready to form our head here so we're going to wrap down towards the eye and back up bind those down good those squirrel tail fibers just build yourself a nice little head here it's got to be big enough to paint our eyes on remember that part okay that looks good there okay one more section here I see right there looks fine now before I finish that head off I want to make sure everything looks great looks good to me a few more fibers there I want to trim first on the body here just a few guard hairs out of the way okay now I'm going to bring in my whip finisher here and we're going to do a four to five turn whip finish on this guy. Let's flatten that thread out as much as I can here. Okay. Now we're going to come in, do our whip finish. Just like so here. Okay. More wraps. One more, and that's fine. Bring it in, snug it down. Check your work here, it looks good. Give that a little snug pull there. Yeah, okay, we're gonna come in and snip that off. There we go. Check your wing, everything looks fine. Okay, that looks great to me, so our next step is to, we're going to put a coat of uh, bone dry on there first, on our head, okay, I'll come in here and put a coat of that on the thread wraps, let's work that around. Come in with my light here and give this guy a little shot of UV here. That looks great. Okay. Shit. Okay. Doesn't take long to dry. There we go. Okay. Our last step is to put our eyes on like it did in the other streamers. It's got one fiber there that's not cooperating. I just want to trim him out. There we go. That's fine. So, 
we almost got them done here a little rainbow trout so now we'll take my yellow Sally Hansen's here we're gonna put a little oil on this guy just gonna mix that up good okay we'll gonna put a little pupil on this guy I gotta get some more there Okay, there's one side. Flip them around. Do the other side here. There we go. That looks fine. Okay, now take the black. Next, and we'll come in and put a black pupil on this guy just like so here turn it around come in with the black okay I need to touch more on my toothpick here One to the other side. Okay, got a little pupil on this guy. There we go. There's the eye. So the little rainbow trout is done. So that's the end of the series of the Little Brook Trout Bucktail Streamers. So I've done all three for you. I thought you'd enjoy seeing these flies. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll bring them in a little closer here so you can get a little better look. And if you did, you can hit subscribe if you want to see more of my flies in the future. And throw in a like as well if you wish. And I want to thank you very much for watching once again. And I hope you get a chance to tie these guys up and give them a try next season. So... This is you signing out once again. Happy tying everyone, and I'll see you again soon. So long for now, folks.